in this video we will learn how we can generate nav mesh at runtime hey guys it's me apurbo so without any further ado let's jump right into the video in unity i already have a scene set up for you which spawns cubes in the spawn points so if i just hit play as you can see some cubes are spawned and let's just open the navigation window to make sure that i don't have any nav mesh baked in my scene so how do we fix this problem how do we bake in nav mesh at runtime first let's take a look at our scripts we have a pretty simple spawn obstacle scripts and the nav mesh script is from our previous nav mesh video so how can we generate the nav mesh at runtime so in order to generate the nav mesh at runtime we can do that with the version of nav mesh that comes shipped with unity as you can see in the navigation window in the bottom you can see that to try an experimental component based workflow for configuring nav meshes install the ai navigation package so that means in order to generate the nav mesh at runtime we'll need to work with an experimental package so how do we install that experimental nav mesh package so i'm just gonna Go to our window package manager then i'm gonna click on this plus icon here and i'm gonna select add package by name i i'll link this documentation in the description below but from this documentation or from here what i actually need is this line of text which says com.unity.ai.navigation i'm just gonna copy this and paste it in here and click on add as you can see it will start importing the AI navigation experimental package into my projects. I'm gonna wait sometimes for it to install it in my project and then if you want you can import the samples but I really don't need the samples so I'm not gonna like, import them and then what we can do is go to our ground and then add a component called nav mesh surface. <laughs> then we can reference this nav mesh surface and do a lot of things in our projects so let's open our spawn obstacle objects and let's first reference our nav mesh surface so let's type public and nav mesh but as you can see there's no suggestion of our nav mesh surface and that's because we need to import a library up top here called using unity dot ai dot navigation because the nav mesh surface is in the ui dot ai dot navigation namespace so we need to include that and then we can type public nav mesh surface as you can see it now it shows here and i'm just gonna call it nav mesh and after we spawn our cube i'm just gonna call nav mesh dot build nav mesh open and close parenthesis and that's it really that easy so i will save the script now and go back to unity and make sure to reference our nav mesh surface so i'm just gonna click on spawn points and in the nav mesh section i'm just gonna click drag and drop the ground which contains our nav mesh surface so if i now hit play and move back to the scene view and the navigation window as you can see it correctly builds our nav mesh with the obstacles included and as you can see the nav mesh is correctly working the agent is actually working on the nav mesh and it's avoiding obstacles and everything so that's pretty nice if i now if i just move the spawn points to something different and play the game as you can see it, it also correctly builds nav mesh so it's actually building the nav mesh after everything is in our level so there you go guys that's how you bake a nav mesh at runtime if you don't know the basics of nav mesh i already have a video on that so go and watch this video to learn the basics of nav mesh until then i'll see you in the next video goodbye